Welcome to our video on fluoroscopy versus x-ray machines. In the world of medical imaging, there are many different types of equipment that doctors and technicians use to help diagnose and treat various conditions. Two of the most common are fluoroscopy machines and x-ray machines. Although they share some similarities, they are also different in important ways. In this video, we will compare and contrast these two types of machines, looking at their technology, applications, and other factors. So grab a seat and let's dive in. Fluoroscopy machines use X-ray technology to create real-time images of the inside of the body. Unlike traditional X-rays, which produce still images, fluoroscopy machines create a continuous stream of images that can be viewed on a monitor. This allows doctors to see how different parts of the body move and function in real time. Fluoroscopy machines are commonly used for a range of medical procedures, including Interventional radiology procedures, fluoroscopy is often used during minimally invasive procedures like angioplasty, scenting, and embolization. By using a fluoroscope to guide the placement of catheters and other devices, doctors can perform these procedures with greater precision and accuracy. Pain management procedures, fluoroscopy can be used to guide the placement of needles during spinal injections and other pain management procedures. This can help ensure that the medication is delivered to the correct location and reduce the risk of complications. Urology procedures, fluoroscopy can be used to guide the placement of stents, ureteral catheters, and other devices during urology procedures. This can help ensure that the devices are placed correctly and reduce the risk of complications. Imaging the digestive system. This includes procedures like barium enemas and upper gastrointestinal series. By using a fluoroscope to watch how a contrast agent moves through the digestive tract, doctors can diagnose problems like ulcers, blockages, and cancers. Orthopedic procedures, fluoroscopy can be used to guide needles, catheters, and other devices during orthopedic procedures. This can help ensure that the devices are placed correctly and reduce the risk of complications. Cardiology procedures, during cardiology procedures, Fluoroscopy can be used to help guide catheters and other devices as they are inserted into the heart or blood vessels. X-ray machines use electromagnetic radiation to create images of the inside of the body. They work by directing a beam of X-rays through the body, which are absorbed differently by different types of tissue. This creates a shadow or negative inch image that can be captured on film or digitally. X-ray machines are commonly used for a range of medical procedures, including Chest X-rays. Chest X-rays are often used to diagnose conditions like pneumonia, tuberculosis, and lung cancer. They can also be used to monitor the progression of lung diseases like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPT. Dental X-rays. Dental X-rays are used to diagnose problems like cavities, gum disease, and impacted teeth. They can also be used to plan orthodontic treatment. Mammography. Mammography is a type of X-ray that is used to screen for breast cancer. It can also be used to diagnose breast cancer in women who have symptoms like a lump or nipple discharge. Imaging the skeletal system, this includes procedures like x-rays of broken bones, dental x-rays, and mammograms. Diagnosing lung conditions, x-rays can be used to diagnose conditions like pneumonia, tuberculosis, and lung cancer. Detecting foreign objects, x-rays can be used to locate objects like bullets, needles, and swallowed objects inside the body. Both fluoroscopy machines and x-ray machines play important roles in modern medicine. While they share some similarities, they also have important differences in terms of their technology, applications, and advantages and disadvantages. By understanding these differences, doctors and technicians can choose the best type of equipment for each individual patient and medical situation while minimizing the risk of radiation exposure. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.